Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about LSU cornerback Greedy Williams in terms of his production data. Uh, so we're basically going to look at him in terms of his production on paper. I'm not talking about how many times he was targeted or the passer rating he gave up. This is purely solo tackles and pass deflection data. If you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. And for those of you that say the cornerback data doesn't matter or blah, 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 again, the data is very clear. Uh, since 1989, uh, which is as far back as I've been able to go with the cornerback data, that you know, quarterbacks don't need to be 90 plus percentile in terms of their production, but they do need to be above average in many cases. Um, so um, that's the main sort of thing to say. But bottom line is that isn't Greedy Williams' problem because when you look at his production data, it's pretty fantastic. Uh, 70.41 in terms of solo tackle data. 80.12 in terms of pass deflection data. He pretty much hits the bottom end threshold for solo tackle market share. He, he hits above the pass deflection uh, area as well in terms of all pro potential. In terms of the averages of the, averages of the position, he looks more like a Pro Bowl uh, cornerback than an all pro cornerback because uh, the average Pro Bowl score is about 68.39 and the average all pro score is 74.74 uh, in terms of him. So again, looks more like a pro bowler than an all pro player but we're talking inches in terms of the data so that doesn't mean he's not going to become an all pro player it's just that his production data looks a little bit closer to a pro bowl player than an all pro player you're really splitting hairs here because again all pro players are, are generational players these are typically players that are like the the amongst the top five players in the nfl over the course of 10 years Versus a Pro Bowl player that typically is like the top 20 to top 25. So again, you're, you're splitting hairs here. He's still a very, very good player in terms of his potential. It's just he looks more like a Pro Bowl player than an all-pro player based on his uh, you know, data. Overall, though, very good production profile. Um, no real concerns here for me. Um, we'll see how he tests. We'll see how big he is. We'll see those other sort of factors once all that stuff kind of comes out. But bottom line is, Rudy Williams looks pretty good uh, in terms of his overall production data. Um, as far as him as a top 10 player, I typically wait on stuff like that until the athletic data comes in because athletic data is a big factor to whether or not a guy is Darrell Revis or a regular starting cornerback. Um, so we'll have to wait in terms of those other sort of data points. But bottom line is Greedy Williams does look pretty decent so far. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jim Metrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.